Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Feature Friday. I'm standing next to the Montana 3855BR. This bad boy is on sale right now. We'll include a link to all of our units that are on our sale right now. Uh, but I want to give you a really detailed walkthrough of this unit. Super sharp. I think you guys are going to like it. As far as weight goes, we're just a shade under 14,000 pounds, so it is on the heavier side. But this thing is packed full of features and amenities. One of the things I want to cover before we go any further is this is actually a Four Seasons camper. So you can camp in this year round. Great for full timers. Um, I do also want to mention though that if you're not camping in the winter, which I don't blame you, I don't like it either, either that extra insulation that they provide in this is great for the summertime as well because that's going to help uh, hold some of that cool air in. So up here at the front of the unit, We've got a massive pass-through storage. As you see, we've got the auto light that comes on. We also have a road vac or a central vac system that's out here. So this is gonna help you keep this area clean, but it also lets you uh, sweep and clean out your tow vehicles. There is also TV hookup out here, so you can hook up to the power as well as the key TV. If you're not familiar with key TV, back in the day, not that long ago really, when you would hook up a satellite dish or hook up to cable at a campground, because a lot of the campgrounds now offer cable, when you would hook up to that, any TV in the camper was stuck watching the same channel. With PTV, they actually allow you to switch between the channels, and it's smart. On our camper, when we hook in the cable at a campground, it automatically recognizes it, programs it, and allows us to switch over. So it's a pretty cool little feature. Nothing really crazy to see up at the front. We do have an outside kitchen here. So as you see, you've got a deep sink. This is great for the kids, grandkids, whoever, to wash their grubby hands off before they come in and out. If you're doing any kind of meal prep out here, it's nice to have that sink. You also have a uh, cooktop stove out here and a refrigerator, which is super nice. I talk about this a lot in my videos because I find it important and so does my wife. This helps cut down on the foot traffic running in and out of the camper. So we're talking about keeping it cool as well as keeping it clean. It's nice to keep beverages and stuff out here so you don't have people tracing in and out of the camper the whole time. On the front, we actually have two awnings. They're both powered. They both have LED lights underneath them. You've got the second awning because you do have a campsite slide that's directly behind the rear. We have uh, outside speakers frameless windows on most of the camper. You're not gonna have the frameless windows on the slides, but you do have frameless windows everywhere else, which looks super nice, gives it a really clean, crisp look. We're gonna test Greer's walking backwards skills. Keep going, keep going. You got it. Back here on the back, we do have a ladder. So the ladder means that it's fully walkable. You can get up there and do whatever you want. It makes it super nice for cleaning and maintaining. I'll give you a for instance of what I had on my Cougar three weeks ago, a month ago, when I went to Michigan. Acorns were falling like crazy. Before we left to come back home, I climbed up on the roof, took a broom, cleaned off my slides, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can also buy slide toppers for these, which is just gonna keep the rain and everything else, dirt, all that stuff from going off. Uh, that's an add-on. You are backup camera slash rear observation camera prepped. So I call it both because technically it does do both. You can flip it on and use it for a backup camera when you're trying to put this bad boy into a spot. People are making fun of you, not that I've been there. You can also use it for a rear observation camera. So if you are towing something behind you, you can keep an eye on it. You can also use it as a uh, to assist you with lane changing. Say you're in a busy area. We go through Nashville, Tennessee a lot when we're going to Gulf Shores. It's nice to flip that on and see what your surroundings are before you cut over and you don't always have to just trust your tow mirror. So that's kind of a nice little feature. As I did mention, you can tow with this bad boy. I wouldn't do it, but you can. I mean, it's an option. You can also put a bike rack or one of those uh, racks that you use to hold firewood and stuff back here. Um, I know that the e-bikes are becoming massively popular. I see them everywhere at the campgrounds. Several of the manufacturers make really sturdy bike racks that you put on the back to haul your e-bikes around, so that's pretty cool. 
Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. So we're standing inside this beautiful 3855BR. Something that's become accustomed to us now, so I kind of forget to mention it sometimes, is the updated color and the look and the feel that you're going to get in these units. It's lighter, it's brighter, they've balanced the dark with the light colors really, really well. Directly behind me we have our, I call it a freestanding dinette, it is actually mounted but you do have a fold top that will come out to extend this so you've got more room for people to sit. Should also point out that you are on technically a carpetless slide. This is more like an indoor outdoor woven rug material. I have it in my Cougar, we have pets, it's super easy to sweep. Um, I have yet to spill anything on it so I don't know about that but they say that it's easy to clean up the spills. So. Some of the cool little features that you see on these too is these little charging ports. So now you have regular power as well as USB power, but you don't have to have this thing up all the time if you don't want it. You can hide it down like that. Most of your windows open and as you see you have a lot of windows. So you take a nice fall day like today, you can open up those windows, get a nice breeze in here. It feels amazing. I know we were doing that in the evening time. It's just, it's lovely. You have your theater seats here. These do have heat, massage, recline. You also have your cup holders as well as a place to keep your remotes or snacks or whatever you want in there. So this is a nice cozy area to sit. <clears throat> Directly behind me, we have a full size sofa that does turn into a bed. So you can easily lay down on this in the position it is, watch TV, which we'll get to the entertainment system in a minute. But that also does fold out to a bed so you can accommodate additional guests but I don't think they're going to sleep there once I show you a really cool feature that's behind you in a minute. On both sides of this couch, you do have end tables, <clears throat> excuse me, and you have USB as well as regular charging ports, and as you see, some additional storage up above. I also want to point out in this unit that it does come with the quiet cool system. So if you look directly above me, you don't see an AC unit. That's because they're actually mounted on the top you actually have vents instead. So when you're cooling it in here, it's gonna be much quieter. And then you even have things like the ceiling fan, which give it a really residential feel and helps disperse that cool air throughout the camper. So it's gonna be quiet, it's gonna be cool. And with that Four Seasons insulation, it's gonna stay really cool. Directly across from me, we have our entertainment system. So we've got a massive TV that is on a swivel. You've got some storage up above. This is pretty cool because your Bluetooth CD, DVD player, all that is actually behind this black glass. So it looks nice, pretty, and clean. But the remote will work through here. So you don't have to fold it down all the time and it just looks unsightly. Inside speakers here. The, uh, the stereo will work with your inside speakers as well as your outside speakers. This has a uh, electric only fireplace. Guys, these are great. I've had them in every one of my campers. I honestly don't think I could live without it. Uh, you can turn it on just for ambiance if you want, if you're trying to set a mood. But it's also great uh, early season camping and late season camping because you're using the campground's electricity. You're not using your propane. And it will make it warm and toasty in the vast majority of the unit. It's not going to heat your whole camper, but it's definitely going to make, especially this immediate area here, very, very warm. We have a massive kitchen island, which is great for prep as well as serving. We have a deep sink with these big heavy, I mean, you could use these for cutting boards if you wanted. But that's a stainless steel sink. It does come with a detachable sprayer. So you can use that to do your dishes or spray somebody if you want. Uh, a lot of people ask why they do the split like this. If you've got just silverware and stuff, because a lot of people in the camp, they use uh, disposable plates and stuff. If you're just washing silverware, you can wash it right here. You don't have to worry about dirty in your big sink. Back here, we have a ton of cabinets and drawers for our storage. And they're actually, because there's an under light all the way around this island, it actually lights up the drawers, which is pretty cool. It almost feels like the drawer has lights in it. We have a pantry. So we talk about full-time living or even if you're doing extended vacations, you know, uh, a week plus. You got plenty of room for your dried goods as well as, as you've seen, all your storage stuff. We've got cabinets down here, a residential sized stainless steel microwave. So, I mean, you can fit anything in there that you fit in your home one. Three burner stove and um, 
Yeah, three burner stove. This will serve as a backsplash. So when you fold that back, you actually have a backsplash back there to help keep from grease and stuff coming up. But this serves as an additional prep space if you're not using the oven. We have a residential size stainless steel refrigerator that is locked. Hold on, we've gotta show this. So when we're talking cold stuff, you have ample room for all your cold stuff. Massive refrigerator freezer. And then when I was talking about people not wanting to necessarily sleep on the couch back there, that's because of this little room right here. Let's talk about, there is some storage up there, but now let's go in and look at this room. So this serves as a lot of people now, especially after coronavirus, they've started working remotely. Um, if you're full timing, this works great. You have a legitimate office space in here. But if you're not gonna use it as an office and you just have, say, uh, grandkids or kids, especially if you have older kids that wanna travel but they want their privacy, this will actually fold into a bed and as you can see, you've got your own private room in here. You have a spot to mount a TV. Again, using that key TV, they've got plenty of storage in here and it gives them, you know, whether you have friends or family traveling, it gives them a real sense of their own private space and it's very, very roomy in here. I think it's cool because of the versatility of a home office or a place for friends and family to stay. As we come around, we're gonna to go towards the back of the unit. I do wanna point out right here is your command center. So this is all your bells, whistles, and switches, everything right here. And it's nice that they put it behind a cabinet because it keeps uh, little fingers and stuff from touching it. And then you just have some additional storage there. You can hang dog leashes or jackets or whatever. Again, talking about sleeping space, you've got a nice big area up here in your loft. You do see the vents, so they are gonna get heat and air up here. They've got a little storage cubby over there, get their own little light up here. If you don't have little ones or you don't have someone that's wanting to utilize this space to sleep, I think it would be a terrific extra storage space, put you some bins up here. It's out of sight, out of mind. And you do have a ladder that lets you get up and down from there, which is pretty cool. Making our way towards the back, we have our bathroom. So we of course have our toilet, which is important. It is a porcelain toilet, so you can use your normal cleaning products on that, which is nice. You've got some uh, storage there for your towels and toiletries and stuff. A sit down shower, which is my absolute favorite. I love, love, love it. I know it's great for the ladies for shaving their legs and stuff but it's also nice just to sit there and continue relaxing. Sink with countertop space. You do have cabinets and drawers below for storage, as well as you don't have a medicine cabinet, but they give you this little cabinet here for storage. And then if you look, they provide you with a nice big exhaust fan in here. So that's gonna pull out any of the humidity and stuff you create from taking a shower or to get rid of unsightly smells. Our bedroom. We have a king size bed. This does have storage underneath it. It also has a super nice, I believe this is the upgraded mattress. Yeah, it comes with the upgraded mattress. Like I said, storage underneath. You've got a massive closet over here, again, with a lot of uh, storage room as well as capabilities of hanging stuff up and a laundry chute so you can hide all your dirty laundry. Speaking of laundry, in this cabinet right here, we have our extra chairs for our uh, dinette out there, but also we have the ability to do a washer dryer in here. So you could do that all in one unit or you could even do a stackable unit in here if you want. So again, keeping that full-time living in mind or extended vacation. We always have a washer and dryer in our camper. It's fantastic when you're on vacation to have one. Last but not least, we have our own entertainment area back here in the bedroom. So we've got a framed in TV. Montana's do the framed in TVs a lot just because it looks nicer and cleaner. You've got some additional drawers here as if you didn't already have enough storage space and then a nice barn door to close this area off to get privacy. Again, on that quiet, cool system. So guys, there you have it. Uh, Feature Friday, a walkthrough of the Montana 3855BR on sale now along with a lot of other units. So. Uh, we have a lot of units on sale and we're doing additional $500 off any single axle unit 
a, a travel trailer and we're doing a thousand off tandem axle 2021 units. I know that sounded confusing, but if you check out the webpage or you subscribe to our email and you got our email or you're about to get a mailer early next week uh, to feature that, again, thanks for watching and have a great day.